Welcome back to Bayonne's RC World. In today's video, we're going to see exactly how I go about mending the plastic cowls that come within your kit. Stay tuned. said in the beginning this video is going to be how I mend these cowls together that come in your kit all right so uh, this particular cowl is from a car Goldberg extra 300 and this is how it came out of the uh, the kit itself um, so this is how it's gonna look at when it's all done mend it together all right so uh, also your kit normally comes with uh, if it's a multiple piece cow, they normally come with uh, either fiberglass or or like thin strip of plastic, just like this, all right? Um, if not, then we're gonna have to uh, utilize maybe some of the excess cowling uh, material. And if that's not even an option, then we're gonna have to go with the fiberglass option, right? But other than that, uh, this is what I do, all right? So, Materials that I normally have on hand will be thin CA, some masking tape, and Lexan scissors, right? So you want to use your uh, Lexan scissors so that you can go ahead and, and cut the, uh, uh, the cowling. Also, depending on the, uh, the score of the cowling, the outline, if it's very hard to see, then I suggest that you um, use like a pencil or a sharpie marker um, since we're just gonna paint the cowl anyways at the end um, it doesn't matter what markings on there all right so uh, just kind of outline the area that needs to be cut you you actually have a guide all right so uh, I don't know if you can see that but just like so I kind of like out, uh, outline the uh, the cowl area exactly where it should be cut all right now if you don't outline it that's how it's gonna look over here you can barely even see the uh, the mark now this top part is very noticeable but like down here on the side it's not so um, use a pencil and kind of go over that and um, and outline it so that you can see where you're going to be cutting. All right, so um, let's get started. Hyperlapse uh, or time lapse, however you want to say it. Uh, on my cell phone, it says hyperlapse, so that's why I call it hyperlapse. But anyhow, I already got the uh, the cow trimmed out. All right, then I sanded the edges to the actual line itself, 
and this will allow uh, you to go ahead and line up your cowl pieces all right have a good straight line and go ahead and secure everything together and get it ready for uh, uh, gluing all right um, what I like to do also is just kind of sand the inside portion where I'm going to be running that strip just for something to grab um, it doesn't hurt uh, you can use uh, 220 grit uh, or 320 I just so happen to have a I think I'm using a hundred on there uh, there you go there's 220 right now so got 220 right here and it's just basically kind of just sanding the inside where the glue is gonna adhere to Alright, you kind of do that also with the front end of the towel, this whole lift area. So uh, depending on um, how many part your cow is, if it's a two part, will be really easy. Um, or if it's a three part like zip, uh, this one, then um, it will determine how much work you actually got to do. Alright, so. We got all that and just for the video I'm not really gonna cut this thing out right now so all right so after you do that what I normally do is uh, uh, alcohol um, uh, just basically to clean the uh, area where you're gonna be gluing uh, just kind of clean it up and get all the dust out of there if you did sand it all right. All right. So this is where the uh, masking tape comes in for me. I use the masking tape to help me hold the parts together. All right, and that's all that is. It's just to help me kind of pre-align everything. Uh, you can do it this way, or you could do it the way I kind of been doing also for a while. Is uh do one portion of the strip to the one side of the cowl all right just like so to give it some sort of base so you can actually um, just go ahead and pop the other one on later as a matter of fact let's go do that and there's so many different ways on how to do this and um, now some of you guys have questions like what kind of glue uh, do you use um, it is really up to you um, but I find using uh, thin CA uh, the best for me uh, just don't use too much that's why I have a good tip um, that is not cut open really big where uh, if you tip the bottle over and a whole bunch of thin uh, CA comes out, then that's not what you want. You don't want that to happen when you're you're trying to put uh, thin CA on this because it's gonna run and it's gonna run in wh wherever gravity is at. So if you're holding the cow down like this, you're putting glue, all that CA is gonna run towards your fingers and you're gonna you're gonna glue. And I know a lot of you have glued your fingers to the, the cow. All right, so don't do that. Use um, use do those uh those tip applicators. Um, if not, if you don't have that, um, uh, use a a, a new uh, tip and just cut a small hole, uh, or uh, poke it with the uh, needle. Uh, that will help out. All right. So what I'm just gonna do basically is put this here. Uh, I try to center it as much as I can on one portion of the cow, just like so and I'm just gonna drop a small bead, just a drop just enough to hold that that portion right there just like that alright so this is where a lot of people tend to not like to use CA because it's just messy uh, 
you're trying to find different alternatives uh, you can use um, you can use also like a RC256 or the um, 260 now formula 260 you can use this all right um, it just takes long to dry so you're gonna have to uh, tape it up together and and wait for the next day before you can even touch the cowl all right so this is just basically how I'm doing it here and, and don't use um, CA kicker you know uh, because what happens is the kicker is going to activate the CA and it's going to produce so much heat that the plastic cowl will start cracking right at that edge or where or technically wherever you put the the kicker at it's going to soften up the material there and then it's going to crack so try not to use if you're going to use the uh, kicker i would say you know spray it on very light don't don't um don't kick it on there too heavy because uh, it's gonna break the cow. And I, I probably could show it to you on a plastic piece here, exactly what it would do. So you don't do it and mess up your cow. Uh, in this case, for me, I got this is the actual cow I'm gonna use. Or if not, I'm actually gonna purchase a fiberglass cow for it just just to say I have one. All right. But uh, other than that, I'm just measuring out the plastic pieces here. How much I need, and then you just cut in it. All right, so also sanding the uh, strip that I'm gonna, I'm gonna be gluing on there. Oops. All right, so as you can see, I got one side already all glued up on there. All right, I probably gotta glue this front piece better. All right, let's do that right now. And if you're very careful, you can you can do a real clean job even using CA. Just just be very mindful that thin CA on the plastic. I mean, it's it's free flowing, so it's look my fingers are sticking already to this cowl. <clears throat> but I'm not too worried about you know if, if I get CA on the outer portion because at the end we're just gonna sand the cowl anyways and um, get it ready for paint. But after we do all the steps to. Uh, like hide the seams and all that stuff. This one has a little curvature, so I'm gonna kind of manipulate this plastic to kind of follow that, just like that. Just let the CA, let gravity work, you know, get the CA flowing. And it's gonna follow the plastic, you know, all the way down. So. So just like that, we got two parts. Now, if you do not have this plastic part, you can also use your excess um, flashing. All right, sorry about that. The uh, my phone ran out of memory. Anyhow, uh, all right. So what we missed on that last segment was me taping the uh, cowl together after gluing those strips in. And then um, actually put in a drop of uh, thin CA within the uh, 
plastic ribbon strip that you see right here all right and that basically will hold this all in place just like so all right um like i was trying i was also mentioning do not use um zip kicker or don't use kicker once you once you uh drop your 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 ca in here uh don't use kicker on your cow uh the reason for that is the the heat that is going to come out from the uh the kicker and then the, the chemical reaction with the uh, hardening process, it's gonna end up making your um, cow brittle, as you can see right there. So right at the line where the, the CA is at, it's gonna get brittle and it's gonna start doing this number right here. All right, so you're gonna see that line, all right? Uh, so don't use, um, I just say don't use a uh, kicker at all, period, when it comes to the, the plastic cowls and stuff. Alright, so we got the we got the um, cow all glued up, the, at least the two halves. Alright, and then from there we are just going to uh, situate the front, just like so. Alright, and we can also take that tape it down and the reason why it's yellow is because I was testing um, the spray can yellow the rust linoleum spray can yellow I had to see if it matched the uh, the yellow monocoat that I had and uh, this is more towards uh, cub yellow than it is the um, regular yellow All right. so here we go just just applying tape just to secure it to the actual cow itself. Right. And you can feel it from the inside also. Just kind of put a little pressure. Alright, so just like that. And then from here, I will just drop some. You can do it from the inside or you can do it from the outside. And I'm just going to put some CA right along the edge right here. Alright, and then just let gravity, you can kind of push it in from the inside or push it out so it can mend both portions of the cowl. Alright. Kind of work it out. Got to make sure my recording don't stop. Sometimes I pull away the uh, masking tape just a tad bit, just to work some CA around in here. And like I said, I'm not too worried about CA on the outside. Um, being the fact we're just gonna uh, sand it down and fill it and everything so now I can actually put the tape there just let gravity do the work kind of move your cowl around let that CA follow the outline and let it get into all those little nooks and crannies. Alright. If you can look in the inside, just like so. Alright. And so for the most part we got the uh towel all glued together. And then we can just go back through all the seams and just double check everything. Add some glue where need be. Let me 
can remove all the masking tape. So one thing about Thin CA, you know, it, it dries pretty quick. Now, when you pull the masking tape off, sometimes the CA will not transfer to the masking tape and you're gonna have a little bit of masking still stuck to the cow. That's fine, because we're just gonna sand it down anyways. All right, so. This pretty much how I glue all my plastic cowls or wool pants together. All right, now, once you're done with that, you can, like I said, let it dry completely, and then you can go back and reinforce it by adding more uh, CA, uh, thin CA around, all right? And then, if, if you don't feel confident with that joint, or you don't feel confident with the CA, the plastic, and all that stuff, then you can go and... Um, You can go and uh, do um, uh, three quarter ounce, or I, I, I go as the, the lightest fiberglass material you can. But uh, I believe three quarter ounce, for the most part, is, is pretty good. Uh, you can line the inside of your cowl um, in the uh, joint areas, or you can line the whole in internal portion of the cowl, uh, the whole inside, and. Uh, give it uh, that much more strength uh, if you're not wanting to go the fiberglass route and just use what you got like I do all right so uh, you can do that and um, mix up some epoxy uh, 30 minute epoxy uh, and uh, kind of scuff the inside of the cowl uh, with uh, 220 or 3 320 grit sandpaper and then go ahead and um, lay your uh, your fiberglass in there um, brushing it on and everything and for the most part it works out pretty well um, I never had any issues I never really had to do that I, I did it once and I did it on the um, uh, cargo bird ultimate all right so if you see right here these are all cows plastic cows all right that's my plastic cow for the chipmunk plastic cow for my ultimate all right and then plastic uh, wool pants all right um, so I never had any issues whatsoever with that this only fiberglass cow I got right now is is the uh, one for the sky bolt but other than that that's pretty much how I do it and uh, if you have any other questions in regards to uh, steps after this uh, just go ahead and comment below and let me know um, or if you have any other ideas uh, especially the different type of adhesives to use um, you can use I, I never tried Gorilla Glue so um, I'm not gonna say go, use Gorilla Glue I, I maybe some of you have I haven't um, I normally stick with CA and with the plastic cows I never had any issues since 1984 utilizing you know CA uh, with all my cows and stuff like that so um, from here what I'm gonna do now well not in this video but when I'm ready for this well I'll sand this whole thing down and then I'll apply um, uh, a very lightweight um, uh, body filler automotive body filler to all the seams and blend it all nice and neat blend it all in so it'll be seamless and then get it ready for primer and then paint. Uh, other than that, uh, so this is basically how I assemble my plastic cowls that come in the kits. Uh, hit that like and uh, subscribe button if you aren't subscribed to my channel and um, hopefully I can see you in my next video. Shishin!